If you are planning to go abroad, then check out this list of 22 countries that require passengers to take a COVID-19 RT-PCR test, whether for essential or non-essential travel reasons. Stay tuned and watch the video to see the list. Welcome to Denzi TV. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you receive updates as they are posted. If you need help on where to get an RT-PCR test, check out this video at the top right corner for your guidance. On to our list, number one is Cambodia. Medical certificate issued by health authorities indicating that passenger is COVID-19 RT-PCR test negative with validity of no more than 72 hours from the departure time. Upon the arrival, Cambodians and non-Cambodian nationals alike will be escorted to a designated COVID-19 center for testing, where they will be accommodated and they must wait up to 24 hours for their results before being allowed to enter the kingdom. Second on the list is China. So Chinese and foreign travelers who are to fly from the Philippines to China take the nucleic acid tests and serum antibody tests for COVID-19 within 3 days or 72 hours before boarding and only those who test negative will be allowed to board the plane. All China-bound seafarers should provide negative certificates for both nucleic acid and IgM antibody tests for COVID-19 within 48 hours prior to boarding the vessel. Number 3 is Hong Kong. Original copy of negative nucleic acid test result certificate indicating the passenger name, passport number, or ID issued within 72 hours before departure. The laboratory test result must state negative for SARS-CoV-2 or not detected SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus. Number four is Indonesia. All passengers must have a medical certificate with a negative coronavirus COVID-19 PCR test Result valid for three days before departure. If no certificate is presented upon check-in, they can have their PCR test done upon arrival. They are subject to quarantine for 14 days at their own expense. Mandatory quarantine for all incoming passengers and upon arrival, they undergo retests and quarantine for five days in a designated hotel. Fifth on the list is Macau. Effective June 5, 2021, all arriving passengers, specifically Macau residents, must have proof of not one, not two, but three negative COVID-19 RT-PCR test result within seven days. And each of these tests must be at least 24 hours apart. And the third test must not exceed 72 hours before boarding. And not only that, aside from these three negative test results, passenger must also have a proof of a negative IgM serum antibody test or a COVID-19 vaccination certificate. Number six is Malaysia. Travelers must present a negative COVID-19 RT-PCR test result within 72 hours prior to arrival in Malaysia. The 72 hours will be calculated from the time the sample was collected. Number seven is Japan. All entrants, including Japanese nationals, must provide a certificate of inspection or certificate of testing for COVID-19 within 72 hours prior to departure. If passenger is unable to submit the certificate, they will not be allowed to enter in Japan based on quarantine law. For seafarers, pre-entry test negative certificate conducted within 72 hours before departure. And all arriving passengers from Philippines are required to take a PCR test to be conducted by Japan local quarantine. Number eight is Papua New Guinea. A negative RT-PCR test result issued at most seven days before departure is a travel requirement. Number nine. Singapore. All passengers who are traveling from or have travel history to the Philippines within the last 14 days prior to entry into or transit or transfer through Singapore will be required to take a COVID-19 PCR test within 72 hours before departure. For sea crew, the crew must have a negative result from a COVID-19 RT-PCR test taken at a government-approved or ISO 15189 accredited testing facility 
not more than 72 hours prior to departure for Singapore. Number 10, South Korea. All foreign nationals from all foreign countries must submit a negative PCR test taken within 72 hours before departure. The negative COVID-19 PCR test result will only be accepted if it was issued by one of the hospitals designated by the embassy. Number 11, Taiwan. All travelers coming to Taiwan and transit passengers are required to provide a certificate of COVID-19 RT-PCR negative result issued within three days before they are allowed to board their flight to Taiwan regardless of nationality or travel purpose. The testing method of negative test results should be a nucleic acid test such as PCR, RT-PCR, NAA, NAT, or others. The certificate of COVID-19 RT-PCR negative result must be issued by a medical institution certified by the local government in the place of departure. Such certificate shall be written in English or Chinese or both. Number 12, Thailand. A PCR test result which should be negative issued no more than 72 hours before departure is a requirement. Number 13, we have Vietnam must be tested for SARS-CoV-2 or SARS-CoV-2 or coronavirus by real-time PCR for three to seven days before entering Vietnam. The SARS-CoV-2 test must be performed at a government-approved laboratory or a laboratory of the World Health Organization. Number 14 is Kuwait. A negative PCR test result issued within the previous 96 hours prior to departure is required, and if requested, 10% of passengers on each flight will be selected for random COVID-19 PCR test upon arrival. Number 15, Qatar. All passengers whose original flight is from the Philippines are subject to mandatory COVID-19 PCR test done 48 hours before departure from the testing centers approved by their local health authority. The PCR test result should be negative before they are allowed to board the aircraft to Qatar or enter Qatar through any ports of entry. Number 16 is Saudi Arabia. A negative result PCR test from a verified laboratory and it must be done not later than 72 hours before the scheduled departure to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. RT-PCR test validity is 72 hours from the time the test was conducted or taken. Number 17 is United Arab Emirates. A negative COVID-19 PCR test no later than 72 hours before departure is required. All UAE residents, GCC citizens, and tourists arriving to DXB slash DWC will need to do a pre-travel PCR test irrespective of the country they are coming from. Number 18 is United States of America. Effective January 26, 2021, all arriving passengers from a foreign country to the U.S. are required to present a proof of a negative COVID-19 test or a documentation of having recovered from COVID-19. A negative COVID-19 test, RT-PCR, from a licensed healthcare provider or a public health official tested within three days prior to flight departure or a written electronic documentation of recovery from previous COVID-19 infection in the form of a positive viral test within three months of departure and a letter from a licensed healthcare provider or a public health official showing, stating that the passenger has been cleared for travel. Number 19 is Canada. All arriving passengers age five or older, including Canadian citizens, permanent residents of Canada and persons registered as Indian under the Indian Act traveling to Canada are required to provide a written or electronic documentation showing a negative molecular COVID-19 test, RT-PCR or RT-LAM, conducted within 72 hours prior to the departure or a written or electronic documentation of a prior COVID positive test conducted between 14 to 90 days before the initial scheduled time of departure. Number 20 on the list is United Kingdom. A negative COVID test taken within three days prior to departure to the UK applies to all adult passenger arrivals. The test must be of a diagnostic standard test such as PCR test and could in some cases include 
lamp and lateral flow tests within set limits. Number 21 on the list is Australia. Effective January 22, passengers traveling to Australia will be required to provide proof of a negative COVID-19 RT-PCR test conducted 72 hours or less prior to the scheduled departure time of the flight or first flight if you have one or more connecting flights booked for your travel to Australia. And the last but not the least, number 22 is New Zealand. Effective January 25, all travelers to New Zealand, except those from Australia, Antarctica, and most Pacific Islands, legally must now have a COVID-19 RT-PCR test taken and a negative result returned within 72 hours of their first scheduled international flight. And those are the 22 countries that require a negative RT-PCR test result as a travel requirement. Thank you so much for watching. If you find the content of this channel valuable, remember to subscribe. Feel free to check out the other videos.